Shana Tova, welcome back to another day of positivity. Um, the um, tenth of the nine attributes of mercy that we're trying to clarify to make our selichot more um, meaningful is number nine is that la'alafim, which means God rewards the people that follow Him for their descendants for thousands of generations. If they just serve Hashem out of fear, it's for a thousand generations. If it's out of love, it's for two thousand generations. So on a shot level, we have to emulate the Almighty and if anybody does a favor for us, we should return the favor not only to that person, but to his children, to his great great grandchildren, to his um, grandchildren. As there's many famous stories with Rav Shach and Rav Dessler and the Chavetz Chaim that they found out that a certain person was a descendant of somebody that had given them given them shelter, and they went out of their way to attend that person's funeral for something that had happened years before. The essence of a Jew is to ha- be a, have an attitude of gratitude. We must never forget those people that open doors for us, and we have to show kindness and go out of our way to respect even the descendants, the children and grandchildren of those. Now, the Torah Devorah explains something fascinating Kabbalistically, because Kabbalistically, this Mida has to do with the Hishlich Lim Sulot Yam Kol Chatatam. Hashem throws all the sins of the Jews into the ocean, which is Tashlich. Don't forget to do Tashlich if you didn't do it on Rosh Hashanah. What basically happens is God punishes those that punish us. Even though Hitler and Haman and everybody in between is the there is nothing but beside Hashem. They're Hashem's hitting stick, but they have to pay the piper, and Hashem deletes them. And not only does Hashem delete them, Hashem punishes them for punishing us, because either they went overboard, or God brings negativity into the world through negative people, and positivity into the world through positive people. So the Tomer Devorah says, how do we incorporate this part of Alafim for thousands of generations into our actions because we said the, the, these 12 attributes of mercies it's not enough to do lip service we like uh, the Alfasi has the riffs Nusach is that we Ya'asulafanai we have to do embody and action 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 personify these 13 midot so to quote him verbatim, he says, Gam He says, let's say there was somebody that was very evil. He was a Russia. Now he did tshuva and he had terrible tragedies happen to him. Now that he's heartbroken, we shouldn't say, ah, rejoice over his sorrow and say you got what you deserved. But rather those people that are have suffered terrible losses. Obviously, everything God does is just, but that's between them and Hashem. We don't have to throw salt on their wounds. Rather, our job is a different job. Our job is the people that have been broken by very difficult um, Yisurin. We have to have mercy on them and save them from further trouble and it's not our duty to say, oh, this person's a sinner, so he's getting, it's coming back to him what he deserved. We need to have mercy, mercy, mercy. And honestly, whenever we have mercy on people, Hashem has mercy on us. Have a meaningful selichot. We only have a few days more.